It's funny, man, because we're out here, and I'm doing my little bit of wire stripping, man, but this is like precious metal, man, and this wire just couldn't go unnoticed, like, as much as we try to make it go unnoticed, even though it was my brother that gave it to me, and uh, it was just a little bit. It was a major fucking deal, man. It didn't fucking just go unnoticed. And I'm getting worried. I'm over here. I'm got the legal pot shop. But we're doing coffee shop and we're trying to figure out, you know, when's it safe to drive? So I went and bought a little lemon skunk for the research. It's about time. Gone about a year without smoking a joint now. And, uh,. I'm sitting over here. I had to, man. Got a federal raid on a dispensary. Freaking took fifty thousand out of our safe, man. <clears throat> there ain't no way I could just quit smoking weed when they take away everything. There ain't no way I could do that, man. I just not letting any more get them take away from me. You know why I didn't get probation? Nuts. I was off, off scot free. No one got in trouble. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm over there. I'm like, you know, I really can't smoke weed and I don't like to do it, but we have really know what's going on. We got our pot shop over here. And so, that's kind of how I look at it. If we're stripping copper, precious material, and I'm right here and I know for sure as hell it didn't go unnoticed, I want to try to hide the fact that it was going on. And, uh, <clears throat> dude, we got right next to the interstate, I Highway I-25, and they're going 70 miles an hour sometimes, 50 right here, but still, that's kind of fast. We can't just have anybody in this little club showing up. It's just got to be like Drake and Rihanna, man. They come up in a limousine, and then they get dropped off. But we weren't seeing that when we put this place together because, you know, it's our first time business owners. And they never did, like, 20 business organizations. Because, man, you can't shut down if you don't know what you're doing. And sometimes business is all about getting shut down because you just want to move around and go to the next fucking place. <clears throat> kind of like caravan in a business. Well... <clears throat> I'm over here, I'm thinking, dude, I got the lemon skunk I hit that just stuff a couple times. I was a little further down the road, I'm not even on the property. I drove five minutes away and parked before I did anything funny so that I could do this little bit of a research study. And I'm over here, <clears throat> I got my post. I got like the general's post, actually. You ain't never seen a general just post up like this. General's post. Nobody's even here because it's the post. They don't know what it is. They don't understand it. And uh, I'm stripping my copper. I got this far. And uh, these people, they're going to go drive from here after they go to their freaking smoke up coffee shop. And they might crash the car. They could be responsible crashing the car, man. Because, remember, the whole thing is we really, really want this business to stay open this time. That's why we're doing, we even opened it. Because if we can even open it today, it can stay in the business a long time. As long as they don't be messing up. It's got to be like Rihanna and Drake showing up. And, uh... Just set it up with a little extra graffiti spray paint, and wow, voila, wow, wow, this is freaking urban hood, man. That's where it's like a gangster. So, I'm over here. I see how they hide there. They got like hidden gems and all these stuff to just put them in a commercial uh, aviation area, and then, man. They got like their own little workout club. These guys are gonna drive this weed that they're smoking and crash. There just ain't no doubt about it. 
But how can we prevent that from happening if that's what they're going to do? Well, we've got to minimize the chances of God thinking that we're completely responsible after day one of opening the business for freaking these kind of crazy accidents that might happen. Or advise people what's going on. So it's been 20 minutes since I've taken a few puffs of lemon skunk. And it took about 20 minutes for me not to feel any agitation and dizziness. So maybe 20 minutes after you're done smoking up, you can leave. But you might have to do reservation lists. Like, we haven't had reservate, reservated club members yet. You know, there's some real, like, top secret freaking class of people, dude, when we did legalization of marijuana through medical. That's like a whole underground scene that nobody's, like, full-on experienced. It. Like, I'm seeing, like, a lot of details missed out on how we got our scene nowadays. And, uh... It's a good thing I learned a lot of lessons. Learned about moms for weed and safety of marijuana. And there's just no doubt about it. It's going to make you dizzy. And we had to let people know the truth. And we can't deny that it doesn't make us dizzy. Well, if we're not, there's no warning saying that we're even dizzy from what we're doing there. We're promoting something dangerous because we know there's that chance they can get in this accident. That, I feel I honestly could get into real easy. Well, we're gonna have to be, have like a 20 minute wait time. I s started smoking at 12:30, and it's 12:57 right now. We're gonna have to figure something out to, because uh, about 12:50, 20 minutes, I was feeling somewhat decent where I could go and freaking maybe operate a motor vehicle. Uh, but this reservation list hasn't got created and stuff yet, man. And what I think it is, we're just kind of leaving it open because it's really tough to afford those luxuries, man. But, uh, once we find it, what we did is we did a conversion church where we were down on uh, 15th of Walnut and there was the Presbyterian church there. We had so many uh, people going to our church. We had to go open up the Flatirons Church and be partnership with them. So now there's 10,000 people that go to the partnership church that affiliate with the main church that we come from. <clears throat> well, that's kind of what we got to do here. This is the freaking joint. Man, this thing has got their own custom lighters. People who wear real gold watches walking through the door like me. And, uh, man, we really, really need to get this going. We're safety. This post up, though, is kind of good, man. So I got to get to keep eye on the street over here. We never thought I was friends behind the scenes doing this kind of casting. Because guess what? You guys are over there doing your part of the movie and what the director is directing us to do. I'm over here doing my part of the movie. And we're casting as friendships and affiliates. But I'm like that Rihanna Drake person. You know, oh, would you have stayed a little bit longer? I said, yeah, I would have. But I didn't see anyone casting a job that I'm trying to be casted right now and placed into a job that you need me to replace. Because there's some cast positions I don't even know of. They're right here on the streets all around you. Make sure our streets are safe. So weird. <clears throat> you think, well, where'd that guy go? He was just casting the neighborhood behind the scenes the way that you forgot about or something. Because you need to be remembering that stuff happens. That's why we're good friends even if we meet each other for one minute. We're out here trying to support you so if they run out of here and we're the ones supporting you these good guys that make little reports like this and uh someone drives off 20 minutes gets stuck in traffic it wasn't even an accident and uh <clears throat> they're stuck in traffic it takes them three four hours to get home they don't get home till 12 o'clock at night they go work at seven in the morning I wish I didn't go to the fucking joint. 
I, I wish I didn't go there to smoke a joint or vape up and uh, there's Colorado Clean Air Act now. But uh, I'm over here. Dang, they're mad at you because you made them late getting home because they thought it was cool to go visit your place. You got all kinds of people, man, like saying all kind of bad shit. If you don't manage that shit, like where we have like a code of force using laws and litigation, the real courthouse to make laws of force build our testimony on things. We're going to lose that force that we have, man, because people are fucking complaining way stupider shit than we should even be dealing with. That's why we need Drake and Rihanna over here. And uh, that's all I could say, man, for our joint, the place it needs to be. I'm over here copper stripping it up. I got 20 pounds. I'm going to get, I don't know, 70 bucks. <clears throat> this would be nice. I got the this precious material man that's the people that walk out of your building you don't want them to get in an accident that shit would be stupid they're supposed to be our best friends the ones that we look after and you gotta remember our background screencasting is like we're sending them out there to be our background screencast and we're getting them heard or run over like we're really not super overseeing that and supervising that kind of safety that we should be over our friends that don't know any better sometimes like the brain function isn't drake and rihanna but we want drake and rihanna you know be our customers to come over here and piss <laughs> okay i mean we gotta feel holy we gotta feel like uh do delicious gotta keep it going we gotta feel lit up and then make sure that we don't get hurt in the process of coming back down to where we should be. So, keep it down there. Keep it hush hush. We should be good with our freaking lawyer, our judge. I met a couple judges before and they're way nicer than you ever dream. They give us $10,000 just to buy beer and get drunk. It's some of our government funding grants that we got and received it was pretty nice but they call it top secret event venting so if you can research top secret eventing and do a little bit better contract closure process check out for that kind of money and loan contract closure process check out for those kind of loans <clears throat> to do funding grants for free beer because they give that, did you know that? It's, it's just called a funding grant for your business. You can spend it on whatever you want, like 100 kegs of beer, <laughs> and share with me, because it was always free the whole time for me, man. I was like Drake and Rihanna, right? I'm stripping my copper, I'm taking my time, and I'm gonna live a long time. So let's help those other guys out there live a little longer too. Have a good one, 1337.